this video we're doing L'Hopital's rule with no trig. So in example one, remember the first thing we always try with a limit is plugging in. So if we were to plug in a one on the top and we were to plug in a one on the bottom, we would get zero over zero. Anytime you have a zero over zero, L'Hopital's rule applies. So what L'Hopital's rule tells us is that if we take the derivative of the top separately, so that would be 2x, and then we take the derivative of the bottom separately, which would be 1, we are then allowed to plug back in and get our limit, which is 2. Now, of course, there is an alternate way to do this problem. You could factor and cancel. So if we were to factor the top as x plus 1, x minus 1, and on the bottom we had x minus 1, we could, of course, cancel and remove the discontinuity plug in our 1 and still get a value of 2. What we like about L'Hopital's rule is that works really well if we forget how to factor something or if we're simply not a very good factorer. In example 2, again we try plugging in first. If we plug in on top we get a 0, on the bottom we get a 0. Now if you remember how to factor difference of cubes, that's great, but if you don't, you cut L'Hopital to the rescue. So our derivative of the top would be 3x squared. Derivative of the bottom would be 1. Plug in the 3, and we get 27. Now, of course, if you're interested, difference of cubes is x minus 3, x squared plus 3x plus 9, if you think back to your algebra 2. And then, of course, you could have canceled and plugged in if you like. Let's do a third example. So once again, if we were to plug in a negative 2, we would get a 0 on the bottom. We would get a 0 on the top. So L'Hopital applies. Now we could factor cancel, but L'Hopital is there to help us and to speed us along our way. The top derivative is 4x plus 7. Bottom derivative is just plain old 1. Now if we plug in our negative 2, we get 4 times negative 2 plus 7 is negative 1. That would be L'Hopital. 